Reading with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? <laughs> this book is being read with permission from Simon and Schuster. Amy Wu and the Warm Welcome by Kat Zhang and illustrated by Charlene Chua. When Amy arrives at school, Miss Mary has a wonderful surprise. A new student. This is Lin, says Miss Mary. He moved here from China. Can everyone give him a big warm welcome? Welcome, Lin, says Amy's class. Lin grins and opens his mouth. Then he shuts it again. His cheeks glow red. For lunch, Lin eats dumplings and tangerines. I'm having a dumpling party tonight, Amy says. Did you make those? Lin smiles but doesn't reply. During playtime, Amy invites Lin aboard her pirate ship. He puts on a hat but doesn't sing, Yo ho! During show and tell, Amy picks Lynn to share his favorite sport. He holds up a soccer ball, but doesn't say a word. Wow, a new classmate, says Mom after school. Did you make him feel welcome? I tried, says Amy, but I don't know if I did. Just then, Lynn's dad arrives with Lynn's little sister. Lynn's face lights up. He giggles and chatters in Chinese. His sister giggles and chatters in Chinese. This is a whole new Lynn. Amy ponders the two Lynns as she and her mom arrive at the store. She ponders while they buy dumpling skins. She ponders while they choose dumpling fillings. Amy's mom looks in their cart. That's enough for our guests, don't you think? Amy's pondering becomes a brilliant plan. Will it be enough for a few more? She asks. At home, Amy's grandma helps her roll out a long sheet of paper. Amy chooses her favorite markers. Then grandma writes the message while Amy says it aloud. She already knows the characters. Huan starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And ni sounds a lot like ni. Altogether, it means welcome. And welcome is exactly what Amy wants to say. Amy waits with her banner as the guests arrive. First come her parents' friends from work. Then come Amy's friends from school. And finally, there is Lynn. Amy's hands tighten on her banner. She grins and opens her mouth. Then she shuts it again. Her cheeks glow red. Everyone is watching, but the words stick in Amy's throat. She thinks the characters in her mind. Huan starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And ni sounds a lot like ni. But she can't say them no matter how hard she tries. A finger taps on her shoulder. Lin points to the table where the grown-ups are making dumplings. He doesn't say anything, but Amy understands. Lin makes a dumpling shaped like a little boat. Amy makes a dumpling shaped like a little purse. Boat, 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 purse, purse, purse. Together, their dumplings tumble into the pot. The boats float beside the purses. The purses float beside the boats. Everyone eats dumplings until they can't eat another bite. It's time for Lynn to go home. Amy sees her banner. She takes a deep breath. Huan starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And ni sounds a lot like 
me. Amy's family laughs. Silly goose, they say. Welcome is for the beginning of a party, not the end. But Amy knows better. It's never too late for a welcome. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice. If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!